Ukraine, a former member state of the Soviet Union, has a deep dark history of religious persecution and suppression. Christianity was declared illegal. God was banished and according to law, God no longer existed. The same was said about God's law and the moral order. Moral disintegration made way for religious pluralism in the 1980s. Once Ukraine was declared independent from the Soviet Union in 1991, religious pluralism was further propagated and infiltrated society. The 20th century gave rise to new evangelical movements and slowly the underground Christian churches began to resurface. It is out of this new religious freedom that FEBC Ukraine's ministry and mandate was birthed. Um, uh, they are um, doing such an amazing job here and um, I have, it's le this country has really left a, a breathtaking um, impression in my heart that I will remember forever. And so um, what I've experienced being here is that um, there is so much vibrancy and, and, and uh, vibrancy in the people here. And um, although you, it is a Christian nation from what I've heard, from what they've told me, um, but there is still a sense of a lack of um, identity in a lot of young people, a lack of um, a sh uh, knowing who they are and a lot of um, young people are asking questions about about their uh, about their heritage, about who they are, about their religion, because there's so much of a, uh, an amalgamation of, of different religions that we see in this city, um, and there is it seems to be that there's a lot of confusion as well in in um, people's ideals of what is uh, what is the truth um, and who who is really who God really is, and so they have fulfilled this mandate in 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 starting conversations deep meaningful conversations with the people um, to help them to discover Christ and the right way and um, I have just been so um, so uh, inspired by what they do how they connect with the young people and um, they do say that their demographic is between the ages of 25 and 45 and this is really um, the the age group that they're reaching here in the Ukraine and it is so amazing to see the response and the feedback from the um, from the broadcasters and the team here in the U in Kiev um, and they say that in a week in a month they receive about a thousand responses from their listeners um, and 800 of them are um, asking deeper questions and starting de deeper conversations um, about God, about faith, about um, about Christianity, and many of them are coming to Christ. And um, it's just amazing to see what how the hunger, what the hunger is that there's so much to see the hunger um, and desire for people to find their identity and once they discover it they um, become completely sold out and so i am so excited to introduce to you some of the broadcasters from the um from the team here in kiev this is max um he is the program director and he really um he really um manages everything and makes sure that everything runs smoothly and this is Irina <coughs> um she's one of the hosts and um broadcasters and administrators here in Kiev um, and they're just going to share with you like a little bit of them their story and who they are and what their role is um here in Kiev Hello to everybody. Now I um, do my our morning show. We have two at least now. We have two uh, couples, and uh, I like it very much because we have very deep uh, discussion and communication with our listeners. And uh, through this communication, uh, a lot of listeners became our friends, and we just go f with them for their challenges in life and so on. For example, uh, one of our listeners recently wrote me that uh, we were her help during last maybe half of a year because she had a really difficult period in her life she had divorced her daughter is adult and she tried to make suicide and such things and it was really difficult for her even to be awake every day but she said that every morning she 
get up early with us at eight o'clock and our words uh, uh, our atmosphere in the program helps you just to live to go on and to really believe that god will help her god is with her uh, with and and he goes with you through all these challenges in your life so it's very uh, encourageable to uh, listen to hear these um, stories and there are a lot of them just Yeva said that there are a lot of them through our helpline through just uh, speaking with our listeners from heart to heart and also i'm administrator i helps to uh, i help to communicate with different studios we have four studios in ukraine it's kiev odessa slavyansk and chernivtsi uh, we have a great uh, team of people who just uh, love god and uh, try to do their best with your help and uh, with your support uh, to inspire people follow jesus christ through media so help thank you very much for your support for your help it's really very touchable and we really feel your prayers here in kiev in ukraine and all over ukraine thank you so much irina for your story um, it's uh, been a great pleasure to meet you and to hear your story and i'm so happy that you've been able to connect you connecting with your listeners on a level that it touches their heart in their language and from their perspective and you can just um inspire them to follow Christ and uh, one thing that I've, le I've learned about Irina is she's very uh, bold and unafraid to share her faith with her listeners and her principles and values they come v strong they come through very strongly in her programs and her broadcasts and she doesn't shy away from from speaking the truth about what she believes and that has such an impact on the listeners and here we want to introduce to you Max he is the vibrant personality of the station and I think he's the life and the the comedy of the station and <laughs> so he's just gonna just introduce himself with a few words and he might speak um, Ukrainian um, because yeah <laughs> he's an expert he's an expert in the Ukrainian language всім привіт мене звати Макс я на радіо М вже 5 років і працюю програмним директором. Я, що я роблю? Я шукаю нових ведучих, які б могли приводити людей до Ісуса Христа. Я шукаю нові форми, завдяки яким ми б могли досягати більше людей для Царства Божого. Ось, якщо просто про мою роботу. Я також ведучий, і ми ведучі ранкового шоу, і ми також отримуємо а, безліч відгуків від наших слухачів стосовно на того, які передачі, як вони їм допомагають. Ось нам зателефонувала Світлана, яка в своєму житті зіткнулася з зі зрадою, от, зі зрадою чоловіка, і окрім того, що її зрадили, вона ще е, має хвороби після цього, от, і вона зателефонувала до нас, запитала, що робити, е, де Бог в моїй ситуації, ми поспілкувавшись з нею, помолившись за неї, от, розказали їй про те, що Бог любить, про те, де її межа відповідальності, а де е, Боже керівництво от, е, для неї. І вона молилася разом з нами молитвою покаяння, приймала Ісуса Христа як свого Господа. І ось такі історії, вони справді нас надихають на те, щоб ми продовжували робити далі те, що ми робимо. Е, вся наша команда і дякуємо вам, звичайно ж, за вашу підтримку, за ваші молитви. Це дуже відчутно для нас. Дякуємо. Thank you so much, Max. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, our supporters. We love you. And I'm so excited for you um, to, to get in, involved and engaged with this ministry here in Kiev. And thank you for each one of your prayers. Um, we really love you. And greetings from Kiev. <laughs> Thank you.